Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video is my fourth tutorial with the Jaclyn and Morphe vault collection. Today I have the Armed and Gorgeous palette and this one is the one that I feel like everyone really wanted. This is the look that I came up with. I didn't want to do like another blown out smoky eye and I really wanted to use that olive green in there. So this is the look that I came up with and I love it. I love cut creases so obviously I love it. If you want to see any of the other looks that I created with the vault collection, I will link the playlist right up here and you can check out the other looks. I did one look for each palette and I go over all of my tips and tricks on how to create those looks so make sure you check that out and also make sure you're subscribed and that your bell notifications is on for my channel that way you're notified anytime I upload a new tutorial. Let me know if you want a tutorial using all of the palettes in conjunction with each other in case any of you guys bought the vault or bought multiple palettes. I can totally do that if you want. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into this one. So the first brush I'm going to use is the Smith 232 brush. It is my favorite brush for laying down the first initial transition shade onto the eye because it's so fluffy, it's so big, and it works great. So my eyes already prepped and primed and then set with powder. That way everything smooths over it very nicely. And the first shade I'm going to go into is Access. That is the brightest yellow shade here. And I'm going to pick that up right on the tip of the brush tap off a lot of the excess as you can see a lot of powder just kind of like fluffs in the air I like to do that so it doesn't fall down on the face um, but there's still a lot of product left here in the brush so I'm just going to start bringing this here into the crease doing little circle motions I'm slowly building up the color working a little bit at a time and then I'm also going to bring this underneath the eye. So I'm just going to bring my mirror up here and look up into it. That'll make this easier to access. Just rub that underneath and connect it out here to the outer part where the eyeshadow ended on the eye. And then I'm going to switch into a Smith 230, which is just slightly smaller and a little bit more dense. And I'm going to grab Secure, which is the brighter orange shade down here in the center. I'm gonna pick that up on the tip of the brush and bring that closer down into the crease and not bring it up as high as I did with the yellow shade. I'm going to pick up a little bit of access and blend right over the top of that so that it blends out the orange shade. My favorite color in the palette, at least just looking at it, is this next shade, which is Top Secret. I have very, very few matte olive shades, and this is a color that I'm hoping works out beautifully because I really want to do eventually just like a really matte olive smoky eye. I will be using this today but it's not going to be like matte all over just because I've done a lot of those looks recently so if you want to see that kind of look let me know. So I'm taking this on an Anastasia A14 brush, it's a really small pencil brush and what I like about this pencil brush too is that it also blends at the same time so it's not super pointy, it's kind of like a rounded point. So I'm going to bring this here, oh, that's exactly what I wanted, uh, I'm just going to place this here on the outer corner like this and then once I've got a lot of the pigment on that outer corner I'm going to start kind of like flicking it inwards and also flicking it here into the crease as well. Kind of slowly mapping this out here. I know I want to do kind of like a halo spotlight look, so I'm just going to slowly build this up. And then I'm going to tilt my head, which way is it? This way? Yes. Um, since I'm working on my right eye, I'm going to tilt my head to the right so I can access this here. If I went like this or straight in, it's going to be really squinty and hard to get that inner corner. So I'm tilting my head the way that the brush is coming from, and then that gives me all this area here to work with. I'm just placing that pigment there right in the corner of the eye and then pushing it upwards and inwards. Okay, now that I've got a lot of the product off this brush, I'm just going over those edges and kind of starting to diffuse them up into the crease a little bit. I do want a lot of this eye to be green so I want to bring some of this green here into the like crease of the eye. So I am getting some patchiness over here, 
Um, I'm trying to layer this on, but there's kind of like a dot here that I can't cover up, which is very annoying. In case you're curious, I have not had that issue at all with any of the palettes yet. Um, except I, I am having it with this one. Ah, oh, what did I do? I just messed up. Hold on. So, I'm going to grab, this is a new brush that I haven't used yet in these, uh, in any of these vault tutorials. This is a Smith 235 brush. This is a very unique brush. I don't have any other brushes like this. It is very, very long and tapered. It's very kind of like long and skinny. Let me compare to my other Smith brushes in case you're curious and in case you've been following along. This is the 232 and the 230, and then the 247 that gets, it's fluffy like the 230, but more flat. And then check out the 235 next to those. It's like even pointier at the tip. It's very interesting and it's perfect for any kind of look where you barely wanna move the crease around. Like I need to blend that out majorly, right? But I don't wanna move that green all over my eyeball. And if I use anything too fluffy, that can happen. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna grab the color Agent, which is the deeper camely orange shade. And I'm gonna pick it up right on the tip of this brush. And I'm going to look down into my mirror now and hit this coming from above so that the most pigment is right where you want it to be and don't bring it up too high. So I'm gonna use that to help blend out this green shade. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Top Secret and bring that more here into the crease. Okay, so that took super long to complete both eyes. Um, I feel like so far this has been the trickiest to work with. I'm ready to deepen this up. I'm gonna go into that Anastasia number no. three brush. I looked it up online. It turns out this is actually an eyeliner brush. It's like thicker on this side and then like really pointy on the tip so it's gonna be really good to get that like cut crease deal i'm gonna use prowl which is the deepest shade in the palette it's just like a deep chocolate brown and really tap off the excess and i'm gonna hit this right here in the crease right there on the flatter side of the brush i'm gonna pack it here on the outer corner and on the inner corner I'm gonna go into that pencil brush with whatever's left on it and start blending out the edges. I'm grabbing some of that top secret color, which is the olive green and pushing it over top here to make this really green on the lid. I'm gonna grab a Crown Pro C527 brush and I'm gonna grab the color Smooth Criminal, which is this more of a rich brown. And I'm gonna use that to try to blend this out a little bit right here at the edge that nice middle ground shade to mend that prowl shade with the crease. So this is very fall, very leafy, I'm digging it. Uh, we are gonna cut the crease. So I'm gonna be grabbing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and my number 18 brush from Anastasia. Look down into my mirror. I'm gonna stamp it on the lid where I think and then if you look up, it will transfer as high as it needs to go. So if you look all the way up, it'll transfer all the way up there. And then you carry it down. Now my eyes aren't totally hooded, but my lid space is definitely a lot smaller than the crease space. So if you have hooded eyelids, do that trick by looking up and having that concealer transfer up that will give you a higher crease. Cause right now my crease is right here. This is where the fold of my eye is. And this is where that concealer is. It's going to give the illusion that my crease is all the way up there and make my eyes look huge. So definitely try that out, especially if you have hooded eyelids. I'm just gonna go in with some face powder just because I don't want this whole area to be super shimmery. So I'm just grabbing some face powder and I'm going to set that entire concealer area. Okay, so as you can see, that's like not as sharp as we'd want it to be. So I'm gonna go back in with that number three brush with what's left on it and I'm gonna use my pinky as, make sure your pinky's clean, but then put my pinky on my face as a balance point and help guide me as I darken this here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab an A28 eyeliner brush from 
Anastasia. It's just like a really thin liner brush. I'm gonna grab the VIP shade. I didn't wanna do any shimmer, but I kinda have this idea and I think it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna grab the VIP shade, really load up this brush, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. And I'm gonna draw a line right where the brightest part of that concealer is, right where the brightest shade meets the darkest shade. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the color Classified, which is this really beautiful, mossy, sparkly green. And I'm just gonna use this on my finger, I think. And I kind of want this to be the transition between the light matte shade and then the dark olive. So I'm gonna go kind of like on the outer part, but where they meet and just press it in. Okay, I'm lying to you. I have to use a brush. <laughs> that didn't work. So I'm going to use a MAC 242 brush and spray it with Fix Plus. And now I'm going to pop it where it needs to go. Also on the inner. This shade too is giving me hella fallout and this is even with some Fix Plus. So you wanna make sure that you are super powdered underneath. I kinda, I think I said that in one of my other videos is that the matte shades are beautiful. And that was my experience with her original palette. It's just the shimmers are like not, not good. Like I really had to dig it into it to get it to work and stuff. Um, I think that shade looks beautiful, I just wish that it wasn't such a pain in the butt to get on there. Okay, so now that that took me 10 hours, that's a joke, but freaking geez, took forever. I'm gonna grab the top secret shade, the beautiful green, on a Sigma E15 flat definer brush. I'm going to carry this underneath on the bottom lash line, right there at the lashes. And then I'm going to grab my 216 brush from Makeup Forever. And I'm using the Agent shade. Looking up and blending that color out. I love this brush for the bottom lash line because it's so soft but and it blends everything so nicely while also adding color to the eye look. I'm gonna bring the Smooth Criminal shade under here as well, which was kind of like that medium toned brown. It wasn't the deepest color in the palette. I think it's just like the second deepest. Okay, and now I'm gonna use that first initial brush, that 232 from Smith, and I'm gonna grab Access, which was the bright yellow shade, and really halo that under this eye. It's really gonna make all of the other shadows pop even more and kind of give it this brighter dimension to the look. I'm also gonna bring this back up here on the top, but be very careful. You don't wanna touch that crease because we've got so much going on, so I'm just kind of Got a little bit up in my brow, but that's okay. I can fix that in a minute. In my waterline, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Nude Scandalize Liner. If you have super duper watery eyes like me, putting anything in your waterline can be terrifying because it can ruin your whole eye look when your eyes start watering. Trust me, that happens to me a lot. But what I find to help is to put my chin down, almost touching my chest, and I look up into my mirror and I block out the light because if I look into the light, it's gonna make it 10 times worse and my eyes will start watering. So try that out if that happens to you as well. Also, don't be afraid to blink when you need to. Okay, I'm gonna use the VIP shade to highlight my inner corner. Right, I'm just applying some mascara. It just as a base for my false lashes and then I'm gonna be applying the It Show Fluffy Lashes from Velour. They did just recently give me a discount code, so if you've ever been interested in getting Velour lashes, uh, you can get them for 15% off with Brianna Fox as the discount code. 
Um, I do make commission off of that, just so you know. So this is the final completed look up close and personal. I am very happy with how this turned out. It did take a lot of time, but I love the color scheme. I love that shimmer color, even though it was a little difficult. I just think it looks so cool. It's very fall and I love it. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of my videos, uh, especially if you're new. I do a lot of tutorials that are very in-depth, in depth, just like this one. And if you want to check out some more tutorials for me, click on one of these videos on the screen here. Those are some videos that I think that you would like if you like this one. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I will see you later.